right, Coach, what do we got going on here? What's the new additions? Tell us. Uh, well, this is Rhinos Pro Wednesday. Where we try to mix the uh, best of wrestling and the best of jiu-jitsu in the world and put it together with some stars. Um, we've got everything from our high school prodigy to our world champ in the wrestling room with Joe Warren, Lindsey Dirt, Locker, Kevin Bracken, all Greco team national. 2000, yeah. Two thousand Olympian. Yeah, Olympian. Yeah. Beast. Beast. See? There he is. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> what do you uh Rhino Gym. What do you think about the Rhino Gym? Oh, it's great. I, I got to see all stages of it uh, before before it opened and uh dust everywhere and now they've got a uh, great place to train and real quality people and it's uh what do you think of the uh, quality of uh, training partners in the room today, especially? Oh, absolutely. The, uh, you know, there's there's guys in there that uh, they're experts in their field. There's some expert in mine. It's, it's important to, to share and learn from each other in a safe environment. And I think uh, if you can create that and keep growing as a, as a gym and as an athlete, uh, I, I think uh, I'd come here uh, 10 out of 10 times. How about the intensity level? Something else, huh? Yeah, the intensity is great. You know, uh, my experience at the Olympic Training Center is really high level, and, uh, and I think having guys that are from that environment here uh, certainly transmits. Yeah, I agree. I've I've just seen huge progress. Uh, I'll, I'll hand to both of you. Uh, I've seen huge progress since you opened the doors, really, and since we've gotten to know each other. And uh, it just seems to be that you know the the word's kind of getting out that this is the place to be wrestling. I mean. Uh, you know, and, and I think today with the addition of the jiu-jitsu guys that you brought in, uh, I think it just opens up a whole new world for that. Um, and and I, I just I, I can't see anything getting stopped out of here. I mean, well, I think you that know, mentality that's been an is... important decision in our overall business model is to make sure that we partnered with the right people. Yeah. Um, and getting to know people is the only way you can find that out. And as a new organization, uh, we couldn't make any commitments up front. Right, know? right. Uh, until we knew who we were. And we're starting to get a feel for that, what we want to do and bring to this sport and continue to grow the sport of wrestling, uh, especially for the state of Colorado. Um, so uh, we aspire to learn. And the best jiu-jitsu guys we can find are welcome. And, you know, likewise with anybody that likes to come in and do some stand-up and Muay Thai, which we think is the kind of third wheel to this overall uh, training center. Let's talk about that a little bit because, you know, a lot of places don't have such an open-door policy. Um, you know, it's not something that's, uh, that's the norm, really, in, in a lot of MMA gyms. I mean, it's got to be an invite-only type thing or a pro level. I mean, that's kind of really what's different about you guys is that you, you guys really encourage everybody to come. I mean, it's... Well, we're, we're, we're amateurs in a sense uh, of how we were raised in the sport of wrestling, you know, and, and what does that mean is that we're ambassadors of the sport, so we want to spread good will of our sport and what we've learned over the years, you know, to the entire world. Yeah. The only way to do that is to have that open door policy. Now, yeah. We know that uh, for anybody that's seeking closed door training, we have that here too. Right. You know, uh, just that we always convene here during our kind of open training, and this is as exclusive as we get here with kind of the, the senior level uh, wrestling community that comes in and trains hard for us. But, uh, you know, uh, we're going to have Rocky Mountain Nationals this weekend. I know that we've got 60 kids from Kansas coming up to train, again, benefiting our local athletes as well. Uh, so we're going to have fun. You know, it's another weekend of tournaments. That Bellator starts, so we're going to see who's going to climb the, belt, or climb the ladder to challenge the belt with Joe. And uh, U.S. Open, you know, it, it's going to be a busy two months for us. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. It you're seems to be. Rhino all over the place. I, 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 we already do. Uh, I think, uh, you know, send, let, let's talk about a little bit of a message for other MMA gyms that aren't located, let's say, in Colorado. Talk about a little bit about, you know, the kind of uh, offer, I guess, is that, you know that's out there for them to come here and you know tell tell them a little bit about what you've got available to them. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, the gym is straightforward. You know, right. A boutique training facility. We've got the weights that you need to train. We've got the sauna, the locker rooms. We've even got living quarters right here in the facility. So, you know, you want a group, small group, that wants to get a little training camp in for any upcoming event, get some high altitude. Uh, we can accommodate anybody right here under one roof. Um, you know, for the participation and growth of the sport of wrestling here in Colorado, we invite all to come out and join us. We've got camps all summer. 
Uh, we can always help find accommodations if people want to actually travel for overnight or for the local area. Uh, you know, these Colorado kids, they, if, if they want to do anything in this career, they've got to be year-round wrestlers. And we're the only year-round uh, wrestling facility in Colorado that I know of that offers wrestling five nights a week. So, you know, that right there is, you know, what's going to be our mainstay in this industry. Offering wrestling is one thing, uh, clearly, but talk about the trainers. Again, everybody wants to know who's coaching these kids that are going to be coming here. Tell us about your staff. Well, our, our staff is all world-class wrestling, um, and now world-class MMA. Um, but what, what does that mean? Uh, anybody, anytime you come to learn wrestling, here at the Rhino Sport Gallery, it's going to be from someone that has proven themselves in the international arena. That means that they've already went to college and done well. They've pursued Olympic dreams and have challenged the world at that level, uh, whether it's through the OTC or the national team. So uh, currently we have myself, um, you know, I can't give as much worldly experience, but I have placed in all of the Class A tournaments that participate in the end across the world, uh, and I was Pan Am champ. Uh, that puts you against Canada and Cuba. So uh, I've impressed with some really tough guys out there. Joe Warren uh, speaks for himself. The world champ, national takedown high school in Boulder right now. Um, still, still 400 some takedowns. Unbelievable. Double. I think it was Lincoln McElroy's record at the time. Unbelievable. So, um, if there's any ambitious kids, you might have to come figure out the secret how to score four or take downs with 40 matches. You do the math. <laughs> so, um, and then Lindsey Durocker, who's our you know head wrestling instructor, our staff instructor that's here uh, almost all the time. You know, uh, third, but not least by any means, world bronze medalist, national championship team member in Greco Roman, all time All American national team member. So, uh, we got all sizes, shapes, forms. And uh, we always come to have fun. So uh, that's what we're all about. Train hard and have fun. Anything else you want to add, Coach? I no, just uh, want to thank Fight Jobs for always being out and supporting us. All good. Thanks. Thank you.